questions for Coach Stumpy? That was just, it was like two different games out there. I mean, Temple the first half, and then in the second half, you guys went on that run and uh, pulled it out. The last three times we've played, GW has been very similar, where we have not played very well early and just found a way to win the game late. To include our at our place last year, they had to lead just about the whole game. This was very similar to the uh, two years, uh, three years ago, where the boy Allen just kind of went crazy in the second half and won the game for us. But we just found the way. I mean, there was, there was a, a lot of uh, fractured play out there, and we just we, we somehow scored more points than them. But certainly, no thing of beauty. But our offense is struggling, and. Uh, we need to find better ways to, to score baskets at this point. And, and I don't want to limit, uh, don't want to mis mistake how I feel about GW's defense. I think they, they have really been a solid defensive team all year anyway, and I thought they, they guarded us well. So, so is that what it is? Is their defense that you guys well, yeah, I mean, their, their defensive numbers are very good, and they, they got in us very, very tightly, and I thought we were really uh, struggling early. We, we were struggling to get any kind of Good looks at the at the basket. Uh, so it, we just figured out a way. It was all of us. What was the mood at halftime? What did you say? Uh, I talked a little bit about the last time we were here that we were down a lot at half and we figured out a way to win in the second half. We got to do the same thing today. So, so we made a couple of good plays in the second half and sort of decided that we were going to be a little bit tougher than we were in the first half. You don't generally you don't win many games when you score six points in 13 minutes. What enabled you, do you think, to, to come You know, back? games are, every game takes on a different personality. That, that uh, we've, we've had plenty of uh, long stretches with only six points. And we've probably had less than that on occasion. But just, you know, there's going to be stretches during every game where you're struggling to score and you're not as consistent as you want to be at both ends of the court. We made a couple of mistakes uh, on the defensive end, but I thought for the most part our defense was pretty sound. Can you talk about Jake's play tonight? Played a lot of minutes and had some big shots in the second half. Yeah, Jake can really score. He made a huge three in the second half. He had another uh, pull-up jumper, mid-range jumper. And, uh, he had a great three-point play uh, down on the block that I'm not sure how that ball went in the basket, but it did. I think that was a, some divine providence in that, that one. That, that didn't look real pretty, but it somehow found a way, and then he made the uh, foul shot for a three-point play. But, but Jake's a scorer, and uh, I'd like to get him more minutes. Hopefully his ankle's okay. He turned it a little bit today. And he's, he's had some ankle issues over his career. Does a game like does a game like this as hard as it was to win? Does it benefit you going forward? Well, certainly. I think anytime you can go on the road and win a game, especially in a league like we have this year, uh, you should be pleased and you should get in the bus and thank your lucky stars and hopefully it's a safe bus ride home and we'll prepare for St. Bonaventure on on Saturday and know that it will also be a very tough tough game for us. We're we're in the we're in a stretch here where we've got to play our best basketball, and we're really not doing it on the, the offensive end, so hopefully we'll find a way to make easier plays and easier baskets. Coach, why the start of O'Brien over? Uh, you know, it's just two things. One, uh, Raleigh has been struggling a little bit uh, health-wise. He has a little banged up knee, but uh, I thought he was great tonight despite that. And uh, just going to plug a, a different starter in each and every game over the next five or six just because I don't want us to feel like we're entitled to things. We got to work for things like starting, and uh, I've never really done that before in my career. I don't think it's any big deal. And if you're playing well, you're going to finish the game, which is way more uh, important than who starts. What about those night with O'Brien and Lee? What's causing them to get feel some of your fouls? And how's that? Yeah, they're they're not getting the spots quick enough. They're not anticipating. They're not doing their work early, as they say in the profession. They got to move their feet, and they're not doing that. You talked about uh, starting different people. Who's the next guy? You yeah, I'm not sure. I think of it as I ride on the bus home. You know, could be anyone of Khalif Wyatt or Will Cummings or Anthony Lee or whatever. You know, so, uh, again, not that big a deal. Scooty had one three-point attempt tonight. Do you think he's passing up open shots? What have you seen from him the last month or so? Yeah, he's tentative. He's, very, he's playing very, very tentative, and we need him. And, and I will mention to him he played 27 minutes, and... Uh, he got he and I got the same amount of rebounds. So he, he's got to do other things to help his team. I thought he made a real strong drive to the rim today in the second half that made a statement for him, and he's got to make more of those. He's in a little bit of a funk, and he's got to get out of it for us to be good.
Do you want to see him start shooting more than he's struggling? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got to prepare. He's got to be shot ready. And I don't want him passing up open three-point jump shots. And if, if you're a shooter, then shoot it. You'll get out of it. No questions? Thanks. Thanks.